Hey everybody. <clears throat> well, I'm on my way to my cell phone provider because I'm having issues with my phone. Uh, here's the thing. I'll be on my phone, usually on YouTube or something, and uh, I'll get this message on my phone that my battery is disconnected and that my phone's shutting down. Which is a weird message because if my battery was disconnected, my phone would just turn off. I wouldn't get a, a message telling me my phone was going to turn off. There's no auxiliary battery in my phone that would keep my phone going long enough to tell me and warn me that my phone was shutting off because of a battery issue. So what I did was I went online and I checked it out and I couldn't find anybody who had the same exact issue as I had. So I um, took the advice on some online advice that said that maybe it was my battery monitoring uh, um, app that was causing the issue because it could happen. So what I did was I ended up um, uninstalling that app, that particular app, but the issue remained. So then I thought, maybe it's a battery issue. Maybe, you know, my phone's, my phone's uh, more than three years old, so maybe it's a battery issue. Maybe the battery's just dying. And uh, so I ordered a new battery online, which in and of itself is kind of a chore to do because there are a lot of batteries out there that um, they're not real LG batteries. They're knockoffs. And so I ordered a new battery for my phone. I thought it was an LG battery, but when it came in, it wasn't an actual LG battery. But I put it in my phone anyway, and it fit a little a little tighter than my old battery so that made me think that maybe my battery was so old that there was a little bit of shrinkage involved in constantly charging and uh, constantly charging the battery for hundreds of times maybe even thousands of times because I'm the kind of person who I like my my battery topped off I don't like getting below 90 percent I don't know why that's just the way I am and this battery has lasted me for over three years. So here I am walking over to my provider because last night my phone turned off twice and when I woke up this morning my phone was off. So although I don't keep Wi-Fi on, on my phone at night because my phone's right near my bed and I figure, why well, have Wi-Fi on at night? Um, so I generally shut that off, but I don't. I don't ever shut my phone off. So um, I don't want to be in the middle of an important call or doing something else important on my on my phone. And uh, that little dog in that car startled me. And. Uh, have it go off so I'm just going to replace my phone so this is the original LG stylo that came out the very original doesn't have a number after it it's just the LG G stylo and I'm on my way to go get an LG stylo 4 which just goes to show you how old this phone is uh, I, I treat my phones very well. I don't often drop my phone. I always have a case for it. I don't put it in my pocket. I have a, um, a leather case on my uh, belt loop that I carry it in and I'm always very careful with it. So I've never had a smashed screen or had anything, any water damage or anything like that. So. Because I take such good care of my phones, they generally last a while. So it kind of breaks my heart a little bit 
to have to go replace this phone because I really enjoy this phone. And other than it turning off when it feels like it, there's nothing else wrong with this phone. And I, I see it as kind of a waste. A waste of money and a waste of resources uh, to put, you know, to replace a phone. So, I don't know. I'm almost there right now. There's a gentleman sitting outside. So, I'm on my way in to replace this phone. And what I'll do is I'll take a video of this phone. And, um, I don't know. We'll see how I edit this whole thing together. But I'm here now. So I'll talk to you later. There's the phone I'm getting right there. LG Stylo 4. Okay, well, I got my new phone. That didn't take long. Uh, cost me about 185 to get this. Let's see, let's turn this on. To get this uh, LG G Stylo 4, about $185. Like I said, they wanted me to, of course, they try to always talk you into getting a case and a uh, screen protector on your way out. And they like to say stuff like, well, I'm going to give it to you for this, I'm going to give it to you for that. No, you're not giving me anything. I'm paying for it. You might be able to reduce the price, but you're not giving me anything. <laughs> But it was going to add like another thirty dollars onto my uh, onto the cost of the phone, and uh, although it included the screen protector uh, with the case, I can get it to case for ten bucks, and I can most likely get a screen protector for like three or four bucks, and I'll order it at the same time online, so I only have to pay shipping for one you know uh, one time. And uh, the screen protectors usually come two to a package, so I'll get two, and uh, I'll pay about half the price I would have paid had I gotten it over there at the store. So I'm going to order the case and the screen protector online uh, because I have to have a, a specific kind of case for my phone because I have a, and I'll show you later on. In the video I have a specific case I mean uh, I have a holder a carrier whatever you want to call it on my belt loop uh, and it's a uh, full leather it's got a magnetic flip top on it so it stays closed and it's a lot more durable than a regular clip would be because I've tried the clip system and they just they break like every six months I'm buying a new one so uh, and the clip system if you sit down and, you, and you're sitting down in a chair with an arm on it like a sitting at a desk or something the um, the phone catches on the arm of the chair and then it can snap right off so I'm about to walk in to market basket to get myself something to eat so I'll see you in a minute Hey everyone, I'm back for an unboxing. I just went out and met the postman outside. Got my package. Got my package, big smiley face on it. So you know where that came from. And I'm going to open it up now. Now in here are my, is my screen protector, my phone case, and a couple of charge cords. So the first thing I feel are the charge cords. And I got um, a set of two charge cords. They came um, together as a set, a 10 foot and a six foot. I only need a six foot for me. So the 10 foot's going to the, to the daughter in the next room. And uh, let me see, how much do these cost? $8.99 for two. That's not bad. $8.99 for two charge cords. And it's just the charge cords. It doesn't include the plug for the wall. Pretty nice. Oh, I'll open them. I won't show you just through the package. I'll open them up. What's the sense in having an unboxing if you're not going to open everything up, right? Okay. There you go. 
It's got the sideways plug. Usually the plugs plug in that way. This one plugs in this way. That way if you have it resting on yourself or whatever, you're not, you're not constantly wiggling that cord and uh, which can cause fraying. So, so it's like that both for the side that you plug into the charger on the wall and the side that you actually plug into your phone. Two. Okay, the next thing I have here, let's see what I pull out first, is my, I believe this is my phone case. Yeah. Oh well, I dropped the card that came with it. Here's my phone case. It's uh, flexible. Let's see here. Take it out of the wrapping. Got a little bent at the bottom, but I'm pretty sure that that will um, work itself out once I put it on the phone itself. Mm. There we go. Got a little insert, a little foam insert. And there it is. It's got a nice uh, textured uh, back on it, so hopefully it's a it's a good grip. Here's my phone here. I'm going to finally take the plastic off the back of the phone before I take the labels off. Come on, little guy. It's a good thing I have fingernails. Now, let's see how this baby works. Oh yeah, I feel so much better now. Oh, I feel so much better. Case fits right on the phone. I've been carrying this around gingerly for the past few days. Uh, because I didn't want to drop it or anything without the screen protector and without the um, the case on it. But now that the case is on it, I, I'm feeling a whole lot better. So that was the case. And I got that through. I don't know. I don't know the company I got that through. I'll have, maybe I'll put that information in the below. Now, here's the good thing. Now, remember when I was going to the store. I told you I would get, I could find, they wanted to charge me $30 for a case and only one screen protector. $30. Around $30. Might have been a little bit more. But um, I refused to pay it. And I said in the at the beginning of the video that I could get a case for $10 and a screensaver for about, I think I said three or $4. Well, this was, the case was $9.95. And the good thing about this is, this comes three to a pack. So I bought these screen protectors for $6.99, which means each screen protector is two dollars and thirty three cents so I saved even more money on this than before so you figure the ten dollars from this and the two thirty three for one of these comes up to twelve dollars and thirty three cents which is more than fifty percent off of what they wanted to charge me for a case and a screen protector so I saved more than fifty percent just by purchasing this stuff myself and because I bought it with other stuff I'm not even going to include the shipping and handling for this because that's included also in the other things that I bought. So if I had bought those other things, the shipping and handling, the shipping would have been just as much. So it doesn't matter. So I'm not even going to include it in the price of that. So that's, that's, that, that's gone. So here we have, open this up. 
we have the little packet of wipes and the decals that help you put the screen protector on. We even have, which is awesome, is, let me get all this out. You've got the three screen protectors right there. A few little things in there. But you have this, which I didn't know they were going to send. So what you do is, you actually take your phone and you fit it in there so it doesn't move. Then you take one of these after you clean the screen. Excuse me for my hiccuping and everything, but I just, sorry, ate a little while ago. And um, so what you do after you clean the screen off is you take one of these, you lay it where it belongs, you put the little sticker on it, and then what you do is you flip it up and because this because this phone is inside this bracket there it doesn't it doesn't move there's no give so what you do is you put the little sticker after you after you stick it on after you stick it on the phone you put the little sticker there after you position it right and then you just flip it up you peel off the backing and then you just lay it back down where it was and then you just kind of touch or something and it just spreads and it just it sticks to the screen it, it attaches itself to the screen and then you just pop the phone out of there and you're all set so um, I'm glad that they I didn't even know that this was going to be included in it so I'm really happy I thought I'd have to rig something up in order to put the uh, screen protector on but it looks like I don't so my phone's inside here right now I'll put the screen protectors in there in this and I'll put everything together but um I wanted to do an unboxing because I wanted to use the new charge cord today. I was going to wait for my holster for my belt to come in and do a complete unboxing. But then again, I, but then I ordered something else. I ordered a tripod for this phone so that I don't have to uh, I don't have to set it up on. Can you see that on um, games? and a little Tupperware thing there. So, let me set that back up. All right, that's good. Yeah, I use anything I can to set this up to get it up higher, but I, I decided, I ended up buying a, I think it was $13 and change for a tripod that I believe goes up to maybe five feet. Um, so that'll be good for me. So I can just shrink it down and set it on the table or I can fold the legs up and hold it while I'm walking down the street or I can set it up right next to me and just film that way either way so I'll do an unboxing for that as well but um, I don't want this video to get too long because people will get bored and they'll leave so uh, this unboxing took 10 minutes maybe I'll stick it on its own unboxing video we'll have to wait and see but that's it for now that's it for the unboxing and when my other package comes in, hopefully tomorrow, it's supposed to be here tomorrow. It's supposed to be here today, but it's late. When, it's, when it comes in tomorrow, I'll do an unboxing for that too. I'll edit this video all together and then put it out there. So please be patient. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, here I am. Package delivered. Let's open this baby up. No, it's not going to work that way. Gonna have to open it up with a pair of scissors. Hope my phone doesn't fall because it's in a precarious position there. Bubble wrapped. Now this. is my case for my phone, my cell phone. That looks, that looks really big. It looks really big. I'm going to compare it in size with my one from my previous phone. Let's see what it looks like here. Wow. Piece of paper in there. Uh, 
Ah, it was just a gel packet foam. So it's pack, packed pretty nice. It's, uh, there you go. I don't know if this light is good enough, but it has a couple of belt loops and a belt clip. So even if you, if it just had the belt clip on it, it probably could slip off your belt. But I like the ones with the belt loops on it because it's not going anywhere. There you go. Wait, there's something else in there. What is that? Warning, this product can expose you to chemicals, including vinyl, which is known to the state of California to cause cancer. Anything known to the state of California is really of no concern to me. And I won't get into my political views, so let's just say that. So this, compared to this one, I guess it's not that much of a, of a jump in size. No, actually it's not, to tell you the truth. Let's see if I can... It's about, I would say, about a half inch taller. I wish I had better light over here. Let me move this over here. See if we can get something better over here. Let's see. One, two. There we go. So, they're relatively the same size. One's just, just a little bit taller. Now, let me see. Because I've been carrying this phone around in my pocket. Whoa. I've been carrying this phone around in my pocket, and I don't like doing that. I put the um, screen protector on this morning, but what it didn't do is usually when you when you put a new uh, a screen protector on and you you touch the middle of it the it, yeah it doesn't it doesn't create bubbles like that now what it does is it usually the glue usually spreads out and it usually you can see it um, adhering itself to the screen of the phone but this this screen didn't do that it's just straight straight glue it on and that was it so let's see if it even fits it fits kind of snug right now, but you know what? It fits snug, but I know that's why there's a little hole at the bottom. Put your finger in, push your phone up so you can grab your phone. But I know that within um, within a few weeks, that's going to work itself out, like putting on a new pair of shoes or something like that. Within the first week or two, everything stretches and falls into place, and that's what's going to happen with this. I know that. So... Now I have my phone case and I can finally attach it onto my belt loop and have it on me without having to stick it in my pocket or walk around with it in my hand. So that's going to be fun. So here's a tip. When you're buying a new phone and you're 100% sure you're buying that particular phone, I would, which and I hope I, I'm going to end up following my own advice, I would buy the screen protector and if you're going to buy a holster, buy the holster ahead of time. So that when you do get your phone, you already have your holster and you already have your screen protected and you already have your phone case. Then you can just put everything together and you're good to go instead of doing what I did and just waiting until I got the phone before I purchased everything. And then it's just like hoping and praying every day you don't drop your phone and your screen doesn't crack. So that's it. What I'll do is I'll edit this all together, uh, put it all in one video um, and uh, post it. So I'll see you in a minute. What I forgot to say was, <laughs> please hit like on this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you are notified of that posting. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.